Hey guys, it's Alex back with another video and today we are going to be doing a camera test between my mirrorless camera which I'm actually filming on right now because it's the only way to get this video. So I'm actually filming on the mirrorless camera right now but I took some photo samples between my iPhone 12 Pro and my Panasonic GH5. Now I'm, I just used the normal kit lens on this for the video or well, for the pictures. So just so it could be like as soon as I turn on the camera, so I didn't do any editing. All these photos are unedited. They are raw photos and videos. Now, I did basically simple stuff. I basically, I, I didn't really want to do any like portraits, so no like selfies for this video. But I mean, I did throw in like one or two selfies just to show what that would look like. I mean, it's kind of hard with a camera to actually do that. On the phone, it's a little easier because you just go like this and you take a selfie very easily. Now, th that is how you would do it on like a phone. So without further ado, we're going to get into talking about sort of like, we're gonna just basically go ahead and show every picture and talk about them and discuss basically my thoughts on how the photo looks and stuff and compare the two between the camera and the phone. So without further ado, let's get into the spec. All right, so getting into the cameras, it is a 12 megapixel wide which is a 26 millimeter, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 13 millimeter, and a 12 megapixel telephoto 52 millimeter for the 12 Pro. So we're not gonna go through the specs for the camera because that's just the obvious. So here is basically our stabilization test filming. Now I actually think the iPhone 12 Pro looks more stable, even though I believe that it does look a little more blown out. So here is a picture of a bush now, I feel like the iPhone gives it a, I feel like the camera gives it a little bit more color now, well, the GH5, and on the other side, the 12 Pro, you basically get a little bit more, like, light in on the picture, I feel like. I don't know, I think both of these pictures do look really good, though. I want to hear your thoughts down in the comments down below, because in general, I don't want to just have my thoughts, I want to hear your thoughts, too, but I think these pictures both look really well. And I think the exposure is overall pretty good. So here, I would have to say, I honestly, in this case, it depends on the lens and it depends on the lighting. I think that the GH5 brings out a little bit more detail in some parts, but then the iPhone brings out a little bit of detail. But overall, though, I think the camera, like the GH5 brings out a little bit more detail. I feel like also between the pots, the reds look a little bit more different because these are unedited pictures. So you'll be able to tell the difference. I can see a lot more scratches on the iPhone that it shows on the actual flower pot itself. Overall, both pictures look good. So here is a birdhouse. Personally, I like the way that the GH5 looks in this picture. I like how the birdhouse is like, looks like a darker blue, which is actually, it does look like that dark in real life. I feel like the iPhone kind of overexposes it a little bit, if you know what I mean. I feel like that does now. The iPhone brings out the blue in the sky more as the GH5 sort of like blows out the sky and it looks a little bit more white, which you don't normally see this sort of thing with an iPhone where it's showing the sky a little bit better, like as blue, because the sky was pretty blue today. The GH5 shows it a little bit more white. That's not something you normally see with an iPhone. All right, so here's a picture of wooden logs. Now, I think the iPhone's picture is more accurate to the color because I feel like the, the GH5 made it a little bit more brown, made them look browner than they actually are, the wooden logs. Now, that's my opinion on this picture. That's what I think. I think that the detail is all there with both. I just think that something's off with the colors. Now, these pictures were just taken as you'd pull out the actual camera yourself. So those that, that's actually what it actually looked like when I was taking the picture. So I did not want to edit anything. So here's a picture of a tree. Now, I think both pictures look good. In some ways, I kind of like the way that the iPhone looks more as I'm seeing with the sky, I feel like that the GH5 just blows out the sky a little bit, which is really weird because this is normally some, I feel like this is something that you'd normally see on an iPhone's camera anyway. And so that's kind of interesting to me. And that's just something that I noticed really interesting. So that's it for basically some of the photos. Now I'm going to get into talking about sort of like my general thoughts and opinions and basically closing everything out. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video because we, this was a, very good, highly anticipated video. A lot of people really liked this sort of video when I did it with a Pixel 4a versus the 12 Pro. Also, tell me what you guys think of the new set. I really like my background right now where I'm filming. I think it looks really good. Like I can, I can basically sort through the colors. Like I, I'll, I would in the next video I'll do. I'll, you know what? 
I can do a whole video of how I have like everything set up for videos. Like I can show you what's going on. This is just a gray wall and I have some of my Philips Hue bulbs and stuff that is lighting it up. So tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. That's basically what that is. Now I actually filmed a video last week doing this, doing something sort of similar to this and the video just did not come out well. So this is the background now. This is probably what it's going to look like in most videos from now on. We will see. But back to my general thoughts, I think most photos came out well and I'd like to know your opinions quite honestly about what you guys thought of these camera tests because I'm thinking about doing these more often like I have an S21 coming so obviously there's going to be a 12 Pro versus S21. Now maybe I could do a S21 versus this. I also am thinking about doing a 12 Pro versus 11 Pro. Maybe an iPhone 10s versus 11 Pro or 12 Pro because obviously I'm not going to be, I'm just going to be comparing them to like some older phones probably and maybe some cameras. That's my general thoughts and opinions so far though. I think this camera test series though could end up branching out and being more than what it is. Tell me what you guys think of the camera comparison series down in the comments down below. But I think that's been it for this video. So like always, please subscribe, hit the notification bell and like this video. So that has been it and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.